At 22 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 3,600 pounds dry, but can sleep four to six people easily. If you've been waiting for that RV to dip your toe into the RV waters, check out the Coleman Lantern 18BH. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, just hanging out in the Coleman Lantern 18BH. Now, let me preface this real quick. If you've been looking to get your first RV, maybe you've been tent camping, maybe you like the idea of having a hunting or a fishing cabin, something where you, your friends, your family just need a place to rest, cover your head, cook a meal, and enjoy getting cleaned up. And, and that's all. You just need something small, lightweight, towable by an SUV, but can still sleep four to six people. Let me tell you, I got the RV for you. This is the 18BH. It is a double over double bunk, slideless RV. And Coleman, Coleman's been doing campers forever. I mean, they, they are the name when it comes to camping. And they do a really good job. For example, this year for 2021, they listened to what everybody said. We're gonna lighten the interiors. This is the iron wood decor. And you're gonna see the dark accents with the light walls, but you still have things like brushed nickel features. So you get a good camping experience, good insulation, lightweight, easy to get in, easy to clean up, but still some good amenities. So entry level RV with some nice stuff in it. That's how I want you to be introduced to the 18BH. Right here on the campsite, we got the double over double bunks. You got the Teddy Bear Bunk Series style mattresses. Now these are the two inch thick. Um, I would say if you can, go ahead and get you the three inch thick or get you a foam topper to put on top of this. But if you're just crashing after hiking, biking, hunting, maybe it's the ladies weekend getaway, the wine tour, the hunting trip, whatever, you're gonna be fine. You still have 300 pound capacities on both of these bunks, both the top and the bottom. You got your LED mushroom lights on both sides. And if you need some additional storage, you got it right here. And I mean, good little spot for the bags, the hunting gear, the fishing gear. And it doesn't go all the way to the wall because we have an outside kitchen on this one. Yes, you remember what I said about the nice stuff? Bam, you're gonna see it all around. That's what we do. We give you the nice stuff up in these little things right here. But you got a window down there to give you some light and some breeze. Off campsite, corner mounted bathroom. You got the plastic bowl with the foot flush. Now, this is what I was talking about with this being slideless. This is where you'll start seeing a little bit of the cramping. Now, being six foot two, over 200 pounds, I'm not super cramped, but you'll see if I'm on the bowl here, my feet are touching there. You know, obviously I could spread them. Uh, you got to watch out for the corner, but you got countertop space here, storage space there, storage under the sink, which is a large single basin sink right there. You got the mirror mount, the GFCI outlet. You could probably put some hangers to mount right there. Shower curtain and my single tub surround. Uh, this is going to be a little tight. <laughs> just going just to let you know. It's going to be a little tight. So the vent, uh, you just got a cramp. That's all it is to it. I mean, you do have, <laughs> I keep hitting my head and I love it. I got my shower nozzle right here, my controls, but you got your, your vent right here. There is no fan. So you got to watch out for that if you take the super hot showers. But speaking of, this one does have the six gallon DSI or the hot water bypass on it. So you can get some instant hot showers. And you got 28 and dual 27s on your tank. 28 gallon fresh, 27 gallon gray, 27 gallon black tank. So not super big for you know getting out and doing that camping, doing that, you know, really long term off the grid. But if you're just like Chris, we just need a place to rest, man. This is it. You still get a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge by Everchill, which is vibration smart and frost resistant. Good space in there. And when it comes down to reconnecting with the loved ones, I'll show you what these are for here in a minute. Check it out. I got the plush, comfortable leatherette four seater booth dinette here. Now, a lot of times with RVs of this size, you usually only get a two seater dinette. The, the, the trade off on that is you don't have a whole lot of space in between here and the table. There's still enough room that Bobby could get by if he needed to while I was prepping over here in the kitchen, but it is gonna be a little bit tight, especially when you're talking about four more people in here. But with the booth dinette, I got the large panoramic window, I got my mushroom light, I got my storage compartments up top, solid wood shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures. I got my water heater cut on right there that I just mentioned a minute ago. My Boss AMFM command center, 
so I can play my music. But this is where you would do the reconnecting with the family. You get out, you're seeing America the safest way possible in your RV, in your home, your stuff. You don't have to worry about the hotels. Don't have to worry about the travel, getting on a plane, a tube with a bunch of other people just constantly breathing on you. You got storage underneath the bench seats as well. This does reduce down into a sleeper. And once again, I'll show you these here in a minute. 13.5 BTU air conditioner, 20,000 BTU AC on this Coleman Lantern. So it, unlike the 17BH, you get a little bit more of an upgraded uh, HVAC experience. So, and I like that. Over on the off camp side kitchen, good for that adventurous couple. You know, bunk houses are great for families or for couples because those bunks are great for the dogs. If you got two dogs, you love to run, you love to hike. Man, these are great. Just park this at the base of a mountain for an overnight camp out. Oh, you talk about awesome experience. That's a ton of fun. Got your two burner Suburban right there. Got to have your umbrella. This is mine. Doesn't come with the RV. Got your single basin sink with the uh, faucet right there. The large window on the off camp side, dual USB charging ports, plus 110. Got the decorative backsplash, the Greystone microwave. You got solid wood construction all the way around. Full extension on ball bearing drives there for my drawers. A little bit of storage underneath. Now being 22 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 3,600 pounds dry and slideless, you're not gonna have a ton of storage, but you got it under the bunk, under the bench seats. Do you have it over here? We'll find out in just a minute. Hang on. Frosted glass inlay right here and the flip up with the brush nickel fixture there. If you wanna watch TV, you got your LCD TV mounting bracket right here, cable connection and 110. And up front, we have our nestled in the front cap, the queen size bed with the foam top mattress, storage lip up top, ward storage over here, as well as 110 power and a little bit of a nightstand right there. Now, you look at this bed and you say, okay, that's, that's kind of cool, but man, if you got four to six people in here, what about kind of sitting down and relaxing? You don't really want people sitting on your bed. Coleman thought about that. Check this out. Mattress folds up. Bench back comes up. Locks into place. You got yourself some cushions right there. And that's where these bad boys come into play. They Velcro into place to keep them in spot. And check it. Now I got my little reconnection spot for my loved ones. Now being 22 feet, granted, it's, it's not like a deep bench. It's kind of like a park bench. But if you got friends and family here, or maybe you guys are watching TV or just hanging out or just reconnecting, getting out and enjoying nature, this is all you need. When you're ready to go to bed, fold it down. You got your bed right there. Or if you don't need it, you can sleep in the top bunk because you snore like you saw in logs. Your partner can sleep on the bottom bunk. You've been wanting to do it anyway. He keeps waking you up every freaking night and he won't go get that mouth guard. Why? Because it makes him look dumb when he sleeps. I know because that person's me. Slip resistant, easy to clean flooring on this 18BH2. And here's my command panel. You can check my battery, my fresh tank, my black and my grays. Cut on my water pump as well as run out my powered awning. Yes, you still have a powered awning on this one. So inside of the 18BH, for what you need, it's got what you need if you're just looking for the essentials. What do you say we go check out the outside? So here we are on the outside of the Coleman Lantern 18BH. Right up front, you'll notice if you do want to trickle charge your battery while you're out here, you got your 10 amp quick connect for your solar panels right there, battery box mount, single 20 pound LP tank, hand crank. And you say, well, Chris, uh, hand crank. And are we also going to have hand crank stabilizer jacks? No, you're not. A lot of the Coleman Lantern editions, especially the LTs, some of them come with the option to install the, stit, the switch for the powered stabilizer jacks. This one just happens to have it. You got it right there. Magnetic latches, two on your anti-slam doors here with your storage. And you'll see, I wanted to put my backpack in there because I love grab and go spots. But if I move it out the way, you'll see that's some pretty good deep storage. Probably put some camp chairs in there, beach towels, uh, maybe some hunting gear. If you got the shorter fishing rods, those could definitely go in there. Fold up step leading into the master, the 26 inch entryway here with the friction hinge door, the edge 12 volt powered awning you got right there. Single axle with the nitro filled tire. That's the 14 inch aluminum rim on that Dexter easy lube axle. There's my rear stabilizer jack, my power controls for it right here. And the 18 BH, an entry level RV with an outside kitchen. 
I'm a fan of this because you are getting a little bit of those upgraded features inside this entry level camper. And having the outside kitchen, especially since this is slideless, it's not the biggest RV. But look, I got my two burner cooktop right here. I got me some prep space right here with a 110 charger if I need it. And the little mini dorm style fridge. I mean, if you're going, if you're going camping, you're just, you know, you're going to go fishing. You're going to go hunting. You want to come back, do the cleaning, do the cooking right here. Hang out under the awning with the lawn chairs. You got your bourbon stored in the fridge. You can do your three finger pour. I got to tell you, that's a good time. That's a fun time with the family. You bring the kids along, get them introduced into RV camping. And you're talking about something that they're going to enjoy and talk about for a lifetime. Four by four sewer hose storage there on the back. We got the arch ceiling so that the rain and the water does not stay on top of this one. It's set up for backup camera prep. Got your main terminations right here, the gray tank, the black tank, as well as my sewer outlet connection, city water connection here, my 30 amp plug, which is retractable right there. I do like that. My fresh tank fill right here, which on the inside, I mentioned we have 28 and 27s. You got a 28 gallon fresh, dual 27s. You got 27 gallon gray, 27 gallon black. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel and information right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Unloaded vehicle weight, 3,500, 3,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 4,400 pounds. Still easily towable by an SUV, but you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander, and you say, hey, uh, this is what I can tow. This is how many people I need to sleep. This is where I'm gonna go camping, because that will help us guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But if you're an active couple or small family that needs to sleep four or six, you don't need a whole lot of bells and whistles or a lot of room. At 22 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 3,600 pounds dry, this Coma Lantern 18BH is your sweet spot, especially if you're looking for entry-level, first-time RV. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. I love it when it's misty and rainy like this, so I think I'm just gonna go cruise the campground and uh, have some fun. So hopefully you will too. I'll see you soon.